In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this happy and colorful dot mandala design on a coffee mug. Now I am using DecoArt Americana Gloss Enamel Paints. These are a multi-surface acrylic paint. They are able to be baked on to make the design permanent with the mug. Now I know it can be difficult to get materials right now, so I'm showing this design with super simple homemade tools made from everyday objects from around the house, like a toothpick, a cotton swab, and some pencils. On the cotton swab, you want to take all the cotton off of one end, and on the other end, you just want to dip it in some paint, and then just kind of smear the paint down the shaft of the uh, cotton swab there. And then I just kind of push on the end and make it a little bit flatter. Um, and then I do smear a little bit on the other end just to hold down any fuzzies that may be there. And you do want to look for the paper kind of cotton swabs because the plastic ones just don't work as well. And then set that aside to dry. And then as far as the pencils go, you just really want to look for something that has a nice round, flat eraser. You're good to go. You do want to grab a damp cloth to clean your tools with, and a palette if you have one. If not, you could use a plate, um, something that you could wash off, or a paper plate even, if that's all you have. Now, this is going to be a dual design, and it's just a half of a mandala. So I start... Um, a half on each side of the mug. You could do this on um, just one side if you would like and you can just pick whatever design that you like more. The only difference in design here is just the order of colors so you can just do it however you like. So you put a little bit of paint in your paint palette and then you push your the bottom of your paint bottle into the paint and then you're just gonna kind of um, stamp it onto your mug. You want about half of the bottle shape on the bottom of each side of your mug. So you're going to do it on each side. And then for your first row of dots, this paint is called Flamingo. And I'm using a toothpick. So you want really small dots. And you just start in the middle. And then you're just going to dot right next to each other all the way around. And you want to keep them as close as you can to that big large center dot without actually touching it. I mean, if it touches it, it's okay. And you can just clean it up or leave it and move on. And then I just clean off my toothpick so I can use it again for the next color. To switch it up on the other side, I'm using the color Coastal Waters. And we're going to just do the same exact process. I'll just start in the middle, all the way around. And then for the next row, I'm going to be using the Coastal Waters on the first side and I just place them in no particular order, just as close as I can get them. And then on the other side, I'm using the color called Lavender. Same process, just as many as you can fit on there. So there's the two sides. Now the next size up is going to be the uh, paper end of the cotton swab. And this color is called Vivid Violet. And if you had a kneaded eraser, you could use that to help steady your mug. I find that they are very helpful. I love them. use them all the time. And you just again, you start in the middle, and then your design, you know, will just kind of fall off the end. So it makes it easier just to start right in the middle. And then on the opposite side, I'm using a color called True Blue. Same process with the paper stick end. And then for the next color, it's called Glorious Gold. Um, what I'm doing is offsetting the gold from the uh, previous row of dots, but you don't have to make them perfectly fit in that way. I just was trying to keep the design nice and tight. And so I use the gold on both sides, so the same on the other side, just offset your dots all the way around. And then I just clean off my tool. And then we're going to use the cotton swab end for the next row, so the dots are getting larger. And this is called True Blue. And on the other side, I'm going with the lavender. And you can kind of rock your tool, you know, a little bit back and forth to get a nice round dot. And then I was able to clean off the cotton swab so I could reuse it. And for the next size dot, I'm using the large pencil eraser. 
and this color is back to vivid violet and I'm kind of spacing them around like every other dot or so you just want to leave a little bit of room in between each dot for the next step on the opposite side of the mug I'm going with the flamingo and the same process kind of every other dot or so just leave enough space um, for like one q-tip size dot or so in between them and I did want to show you it's really simple to remove the wet paint um, you just use a damp cotton swab and just twist it up and away so here's how it's looking now we're going to go back with the stick end of the cotton swab there I'm going with the white paint and I'm going just a little bit above the dot and right in between each of them. I'm going to do that all the way around to each of the dots on both sides of the mug now. You just want to go a little bit higher so leave a little bit of space in between and just a little bit above. There's no right or wrong here it's just really personal preference when you're spacing. All right, and now I'm going to be using that same tool and I'm going to be placing a dot right in between the larger dot and then the small white little dots. So kind of like a little triangle and that's to either side. All right, for the next step, you're going to go back with the toothpick and you're going to dip it in paint and then you're going to start with the middle white dot and you're going to dot right under it and you're going to dot continuously towards the center dot all the way as far as you can before you hit the previous row and then re-dip your tool and then dot in from either side so the other white dots the other larger white dots you can just kind of dot in towards your center dot and I just kind of curved them around the large dots and it made a really nice pretty little design and I just used white and I used it for both sides there and then for your next step grab your regular sized pencil and dip the eraser end into the lavender paint and place a dot right above each of the pink dots there right in between each of the little white lacy looking bridges and then on the other side, I'm going back with the Coastal Waters paint and doing the same on the other side. And then right in between each of the larger dots, I'm going to be placing two small dots with the gold, the glorious gold. And I did do two versions of this mug, and on the other version, I just did one larger dot, which you can see at the beginning and the end of this video. You just switch it up. It's however you like to do it. All right, going back with the large pencil eraser, going to place one large dot above the two little small gold dots. So on one side, I'm using the true blue for this step. Again, leaving plenty of space in between them. And on this side, I'm using the coastal waters paint. I also wanted to leave plenty of space at the rim of the mug all the way around just for the you know where the lips might go I wouldn't want paint in my mouth <laughs> even if it you know is supposed to be permanent it is just an imperfect product so I mean you just never know so alright going back with some little white bridges um, you want to dip your toothpick in paint and I did this with white all the way around with both sides. You want to place your first dot right in the center on the outer edge of the large dot and then you want to dot continuously down to the base of one side and then re-dip your toothpick into paint, re-dot your first initial dot and then dot all the way down to the base of the other side. And I did that with all the dots all the way around. And then I'm going to go with another layer of the little bridge 
and I'm just going to go back with whatever color it was that I had used on the dot. So on this case it's the Coastal Waters paint. I make my largest dot with the stick end of the cotton swab and then I use my toothpick to dot down one side all the way and then I re-dip it and then I dot all the way down to the other side and on the opposite side I'm using the, the blue, the true blue same process and these make beautiful petals you could continue out with that if you wanted to but I wanted to get a little uh, swiping practice in and, and show you guys how to go about the swipe technique so I'm using um, the cotton end of the cotton swab to make a dot in between and above each of the petals and I use the toothpick to kind of drag the paint straight down as well as I can uh, in between each of the little petals. Now this is not the best tool set <laughs> for this particular job. Um, my new tool set, the swipes are amazing, but if this is all you have, this will work. Um, it's not perfect, but hey, what is? It's still absolutely beautiful. Just go with it. So I did the swipes with the Vivid Violet on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to use Lavender. Again, just make your dot, and then just kind of smear it down towards the center. If you hear snoring, that is my chihuahua, Pablo. He's, it's loud to me, so surely you hear it. <laughs> and that's as far as I go with this design. Um, just like I said, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the top. Um, now you can just stick this in a normal oven, and the instructions may vary from your paint to mine. So I would just suggest that you read the back of your bottle. Mine says 325 degrees for 30 minutes. But again, you know, it, it does require a certain type of paint and they may vary um, in technique. So I hope you love this tutorial. If you do love it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks so much for watching. See you real soon. Bye now.